So are there any questions at this point? I might take a few more minutes and, and show you how to use the limit switch. Because I might be able to get that done in another five or ten minutes. Yeah. Because it's similar. And it's kind of a good starting point for what? Use the limit switch as your button. The one that hits and stops the motor. Okay, I can do that. Can we do that? Yeah. That's way better than the example we had. <laughs> You're not capable of running a motor and moving that servo at the same time, so you might be in trouble. Well, yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, well, let's just go. Okay, so I'll just say if that's a great thing. Okay. That was intentional? Okay, so I shut it off. So let's make this change. We want to add the limit switch. We want to have the limit switch kill the, uh, be a break instead of my button one. Perfect. So where do I start? Someone, here, I'll put you to work. I'll drive, but you tell me what to do. Where do I start? Begin. Begin. Go to the block diagram. Sorry, the block diagram. Here's another shortcut for you to write down. Control E, toggles between the front panel and the block diagram. I was doing that and I, I always forget to mention it. Okay, so I, I, what do I need to do now? switch and use it instead of button one. We need to right click for sure. <laughs> okay, and I'll give you a hint. Look at what no, what do we have to do with the servo in order to write right right. the right. So we need to have a copy of all of our stuff over here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to do the registry oh, get. Oh important. Registry get. Because oh. otherwise how does it know we want to read from Charlie? Right? So we're going to connect this up. Now what? Right. Remember, whenever you're lost, control H and look for bold stuff. Reference. Reference. Reference name. So right click. Create constant. That's right. I'm not doing this on E. The first two I was I was farting around. I didn't realize it. Okay. All right. So now we've got our reference. What do we need to do now? Hook it up to what? Okay. To this box. Okay, now we have to get, thank you. We have to actually get the value. All we've got so far is the reference. This is just saying, hey, I'm talking to Charlie. Put it right underneath the joystick. 
right underneath the joystick yet. No problem. And then what? Connect that up to there. Okay. Excellent. Now what? Control A to leave stuff. Well, what do we want to do? We want to replace this button. We don't want to use we don't want to use this button anymore. Delete. 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 It's gone. Okay, and so just here's a little aside note here. You see how we've got all these these broken wires? It's because we deleted something something from the build. We've still got to get rid of those wires, otherwise it won't be happening. So I'll double click and then delete the bad wire. Okay? And so then the value, and notice the color of the word value and the color of the wire? Green. Okay? How do we know what the whether the limit switch gives a zero or a one. Excellent question. Um, in this case, because I was playing with it this afternoon, <laughs> I know that when it is pressed, yeah. it gives a false. And when it is not pressed, it gives a true. So right now, it's false. Right now, it's true. So is this the logic we want? False when it's pressed. False turns off the motor. Yes, false when it's pressed. Right. So we actually want to flip these cases. There's a nice shortcut. We right click. We can make the current case. So we're on the true case. We right click. Make this case false, which flops it. Flips them around. Okay. So now let's just revisit. Right now, when it's up, the value is true, which means if I can find my mouse. So right now, the motor is on. Right now, it's false, which means zero. Uh, okay. Okay? Yeah. So, let's run it. Can I ask a question? Yes. Why don't you have to tie the joystick to the inside of the box? Why don't you? Yeah. It's the joystick when you pull it in the center. There's no good reason for that. You should have done it for it's it's because of the way we stripped the default code out to make it a little simpler. It still works. Uh, it's Patrick's fault. <laughs> it really doesn't matter in this case. Um, there is a slightly more complicated reason because we don't want to do it in the init or in the stop cases, but I don't want to confuse anything. Um, you, it could be outside just as well. In fact, if it were me, they would all be in the same place so for consistency. So let's run. See what happens here. Is there a window or something where you can check the live sensors, like check them live, so you can press them and you'll see if there are one or zero code sort of balls on the screen? Like I think you can do that as part of the driver station, but um, I think that's what that IO screen is for. I know it's coming. Let's try it. Did I miss something? You're, you're looking like a, you're going to be expecting a. This is when the Easter egg pops up. That's correct. Um, it may not I'm be not pushed sure. all the way out. Actually, you may have to have a force on it. I can't quite tell. All right, the moment of truth. You gotta wait for the robot code to go green.
Okay, so we're, we're, we're awful close to our 530 point. I think this is a great place to stop.